All right, guys, Ramiro here with Epic Cards and Games, and we're here with who? Uh, Matthew Kirkland. And what'd you do this weekend? I got fourth at the Lubbock Regional. Nice. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to Robert, the Orcus God. Shout out to Ramiro for topping at another event. Shout out to Cam for pretty much building the deck. And shout out to Epic Cards and Games and Briley and Bailey for letting us stay somewhere in Lubbock and to the boys. So That's good. All right, let's take a look at what you played. All right. I played the two Dark Warriors for starters along with Mathman and whatever it is, Rota. So, I mean, these are all you really need. You don't need anything else. The Mathman just kind of plays around like there can be only one a little bit better. And But these two are just infinitely like the best ones to open. And then for the Orcus cards, I played three Nightmare, three Harp, one Symbol, one Wand, and a Gizmac. Uh, I was playing two symbol before, but I mean, going second, it's a little bit easier to get the symbol out of your deck before you need the Gizmank, so it's not as bad because you just inherently get to your Orcus cards a little bit easier. And then for the go second cards, I played three Phantasma, you just want to draw your go second cards. Triple Nashter, uh, Orcus is a big deck, so you just want to open this and they have to use their uh, IP to out it or you just fuse their whole board away. Uh, I fused a guy's, I specialed it at the start of my turn and fused a guy's bomber away and then normaled it at the end of my turn and fused all his Orcus cards that were left away to kill him in one round. Lost that round, but it's okay. Um, and then I played the three pank. It's just generic, it's good against everything. And then Three should all fusion and the dragon. This is like, what was my favorite card in the deck? Cause it's a foolish, it's a MST and it's a body. And I mean, you can't really go wrong with any of that. It's really good against the mirror match because you want to pop their babble cause all their effects in grave road's gonna kill you. So you just want to try and simplify their board so that you can just power over, outpower everything and kill it. And then I played the three super poly and three mind control. The uh, mind control I didn't really draw, but it was really good when I did. And the super poly was really good. It was just really bad with fusion because you had to like play around your own window. Yeah. So like I wanted to have, I didn't really have a generic link to point it down, which was probably the, just the biggest mistake I had, I guess. And then for the Orcus spells, just to return and the Babel. I mean, I'm going second, and like, there's like shit all fusion and all the starters, so I can get to my Orcus cards, and I don't want to draw like cards that don't go second. So if I draw multiples of that, then it's just bad. So I just play two, and then the one of foolish monster reborn. This card is crazy, and for the one trap crescendo. Forty cards. Ah, uh, yeah, forty. Nice. Then for the extra deck, I played the. Three Gala, one Long, and two Ding. It's just standard in any kind of like pure deck. You have to play all of it, or else you're not gonna really like win in a grind game. I played uh, it. Cards really good for if you go second and you don't kill them, you can just make this, and it's another interruption on their turn. So you like out resource them essentially, I guess. And then if they like try to outplay you and make you go first game two, if you kill them game one, you just do like the pure Orcus play where you end on it with Ding and Grave, and you can just. It's the same exact thing. You just have go second cards. So as soon as they make a board, all of the rest of your cards can just be alive. And Makes then sense. Phoenix, back row removal is nice. And Unicorn, that's the card I just went into off of Ip a lot along with the long, but there was another like real target, I guess. And then the Bortal Sword for the Lynx. And then for the Cyber Dragon fusions, I played a Mega Fleet. And Fortress, I mean, you just have to play them with the Cyber Dragons. They're both just really good. And then the Super Poly targets is a Chimera and Starving Venom. I put in the Chimera. I guess it was just really good, depending on, like, if Salad sets up, like, Dweller and stuff. It's just really good to have. And, I mean, clearing their board is just infinitely easier with it. And Starving Venom, the best deck plays Darks in it, so... And then the one window for shit all fusion. And then for the side deck, three of uh, Chaos Hunter. Should have been Lancia. The card sucked, but it's okay. Uh, three twin, three cosmic. Just
just for the back row decks because I don't want to just outright lose to having no out to floodgates. And then the three call by the grave, it's you just kind of like preemptively sided if they make you go first because Lancey is pretty good against a pure Orcus deck. You really just can't play under it, so you have to have it. And then the last three cards is three evenly. Uh, it kind of conflicts with people siding Lancia, but I guess like the reasoning behind it was like the Demise Striker deck. If people are playing that, Demise and Lancia don't really work together, so you have to. It's either like better have it or they just you blow up their whole. You're, you blow them out, I guess. Better have it is nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Any uh, comments or anything else you want to say? No, the event was pretty good, except for the whole idea of Chaos Hunter. Bomber, <laughs> bomber effect is nice, but I had fun. Uh, thanks for the ticket, bro. Thanks.